we are going to modify this Mr. Potato Head. And we need these arms on this guy. Now what I've already done is I went ahead and I cut the pegs off of his arms that he came with. And this is the Toy Story 4 Potato Head. Here's what I have. I'm going to cut these guys off and put these super glued in. Here we have one gummy arm. Let's get the other one. The little metal wire in here is actually really, really high quality because it's not one single wire. It's actually a bunch of little tiny copper wires. So the, the bendiness in these hands is really meant to last a long time. And it goes to show these are literally from the 80s and they still retain all their gumminess. It's fantastic. Let's get our little pegs here. And let's have to bend these in just a little. Get those in there a little bit. and uh, let it dry in place. Let's see, that's where I see we Now, hopefully this works. Just stick the peg right in. Okay, get the other one going. All right, so peg number two, gonna be put side to dry. Actually, I just might as well put them both right here. Now, here's the potato head that we're working with. <clears throat> this is, like I said, Toy Story 4. Put his head back, his ears are not gonna be movie accurate, but to be honest, I mean, they're good enough. The beard is good enough. Um, the color on the shoes is terrible. And there he is with the arms already. I mean, even with just these gummy arms here, he looks ton better, ton better. So here's uh, the peg holes right there. I'm sure some of the super glue got on his face, which is fine. In fact, I might end up just letting that happen because I wouldn't take these off anyway. All right, here's our two potato heads. And we are going to cut these shoes up. I need both the pegs and the shoes to be a part themselves. Now this part does take a lot of trial and error. It's just all about cutting, placing up against, and cutting some more till they're as closely fit as possible. And then glue them on.
Now check that out. So far so good. There's some gaps which we will later fill in with clay and then paint, but it looks good. All right, as you can see, they're not gonna fit perfect, but that's where the clay is gonna come in a little bit later, but check it out. From, from a distance, you almost can't even see it. Almost, that is. Now I'm doing some guesswork here with the pegs. Later on, I actually do end up adjusting them because putting them right here in the middle didn't quite end up putting the legs where I wanted them to be. There they are. Look pretty slick. Now when you drill into the Mr. Potato Head, you want to start with the smallest bit possible after marking where you're going to put the holes. Using the small bit gets the hole started, then you come in with the bigger drill bit, finish it off. And that was sped up three times. That's how slow I went on this. So you're going to want to take it very, very slow. Otherwise, you'll just mess them up. And now we come in with the big boy. Look at that, those are professionally drilled holes right there. And just a little demonstration. Again, I make adjustments later, but this is what he looks like right after it's drilled. What I end up doing is I end up moving the pegs. The holes were drilled perfect, but I do end up moving the pegs on the shoes so that they're easier to put on and off. All right, everyone, before we get started on the time lapse, one thing you will need to buy to finish this project are these eyes on Etsy. It's a little kit, only 40 bucks, and here we go.
The eyeballs are stickers, so we got to stick those on. Now to put the eyes on, we're going with the Today I Grew Up method of magnetic eyes. And believe it or not, magnets do not adhere to super glue very well. So heads up if you're trying this. And I'm dropping the magnet in and using the eyes to scoot the magnet in the back where I need it to be and then super gluing it once it's in position. Kind of hard to tell, but. Now, once I got the eyes on, even though I centered the pupil exactly in the middle of the eyeball, it looked a little funky. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and remove the pupils and put them a little closer to the middle. He looked just a little too bug-eyed. And that looks a lot better. Much less bug-eyed as you can see. Now initially for the eyebrows, I wanted to do the magnetic system as well, you know, so you can kind of maybe position his eyebrows, give him some extra expressions, but so many magnets in the back, both pushing and pulling on each other, it ended up not really working so well, and you'll see that here in a bit. Can't win them all. The route that ended up working for me is I just got some adhesive. It's like Gorilla Glue adhesive. It's not glue, it's just tape. And that is more like it. Seeing as though I'm not really going to be positioning his eyebrows much different, I might as well just keep him in a fixed state. Now we just need to apply some paint. Couldn't tell you what colors I used for this because I kind of forgot, should have shown that a little bit better, but I think it was burnt umber and some white. And then the blue, I can't remember what blue it was, and I mixed some white, tried to get the blue as close to the color of the shoe as possible. And we get pretty close. I didn't record me putting the clay in the shoe, but anyone who's good with clay could probably make this look a lot better and smoother than I did. Again, these parts are really not going to be seen too much with the way that I'm going to display potato heads. So I wasn't too worried, nor did I care too much. And then the paint really hides it pretty well, even further, I should say.
That's a good paint match if I don't say so myself. So I think he looks excellent. The paint in the middle of his eyes is so seamless, especially since his eyes are very close together. It doesn't matter too much that it's very, very slightly off, very slightly. And as we spin him around, you can see the back of the shoes. Can't really tell too, too much. Now the box he's standing on, is a little uneven. It's got like a handle, so I'm being careful. But he actually does balance very well on those shoes. It's just that the holes I drilled for the shoes don't fit the pegs super tight, so, but not a big deal. Might fix that later though. And there's one last look at him. I'm extremely happy with this guy. Anyone could do this custom. You basically need an old school potato head, a Toy Story 4 potato head, and this eye kit on Etsy. And you can throw it together. And there it is. Really, really nice. Comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.